Hey everybody, it's Eric from Project Echelon, and I wanted to make this video because there's been, uh, in the recent past, a lot of talk about the number 22. Uh, and the reason I want to bring it up is because, a couple reasons. One, um, our, our website is projectechelon22.org, so from one standpoint it's to explain why. Uh, beyond the fact that uh, projectechelon.org was taken by a uh, cyber squatter who was gracious enough to to offer to sell it to us for $5,000. So we decided not to do that and to add the 22 um, to the end so we could have our own web domain for less than $5,000. Uh, the other reason is on the left leg of the triathlon suit, it has a Roman numerals 22, XXII, um, and... Uh, it, to do these things, there's a reason behind it, and uh, I want to explain why, but mostly because there's been a lot of, I don't want to say um, backlash against the number 22, but there was a, there's a, a movement uh, that was trying to get people to stop using 22, uh, because it wasn't uh, a real number, it uh, wasn't an actual statistical number, It um, people were using it to their benefit to make money. Um, my daughter is crying at the door, so I'm going to let her in, and uh, we'll see we'll see how this goes with her um, as part of this. I apologize for this, but she's been a little... Hi, Ava! Are you going to be good? No. No, you're not? Okay, well, I'm making a video, and I would like to keep doing that, okay? All right. Was I talking about number 22? Okay, so what the number 22 comes from is a study back in 2012, I believe, where it looked at veteran suicide rates, and they found it was 22 veterans per day. And the 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 statistic was not a real one. It's one that they um, did a loosely based study on. I think like 20 20 states. Um, it didn't factor into all the account of the actual numbers. They came out with 22, and everyone kind of ran with it. Uh, in 2014, they just came out with a study that showed it was 20 veterans a day that were committing suicide. Um, and the the thing about that number is that it's not even a real number. Um, 20 a day uh, could be high, could be low. Uh, the reality is we don't know because they're not taking into account the accidental, not the accidental, but they're the drug overdoses, the veterans who are driving off the road so that it looks like an accident, um, so they don't look like they're committing suicide, they're not taking those things into account, so the number will never be real. It's just a best guess. But those numbers, the reason we use them is they mean something to us. Uh, they mean something. That 22, when I think of it, it conjures up the people that I've lost to suicide, the veterans that I've lost and the veterans other people have lost, and that's a noble cause, um, to, to be reminded of those things. And that's what symbols do, is they help to manifest a feeling inside of you. Uh, people will say that, that people have used the number 22 to um, make money, uh, and I kind of, I don't know who the companies are that are using 22 to make all this money, um, but I certainly don't know them. Uh, if anything, uh, most of the people who use the number, uh, like Mission 22, are doing amazing work to try and reduce that number until it is zero, because even if it's one, that's too many. So another part of the problem that people say is not 22, it's actually 22 Vietnam veterans, it's not even the OEF, OIF, current veterans that are committing suicide. And what a, what a, what a, silly, a silly thing to, to have as a justification of why we shouldn't use the number 22, even if it's 20 or, or greater than that. Hi, Ava. But what a silly reason. Think about, think about it. Like they're veterans, and they are forty plus years old, and they're committing suicide. Well, I'm thirty-two, and some of the current veterans are nineteen, you know, or because they got injured and got out. Well, they're gonna be forty-something-year-old veterans. They're gonna be that someday. So when we're talking about not using the number twenty-two because it's Vietnam veterans that are actually the ones committing most of the suicide, well, I'm gonna be the age of a Vietnam veteran. So shouldn't I try to do the work now to not become that statistic, to help reduce that? Like, I, the, the, the justifications for why we, we don't want that number just don't, don't register with me. And so I'll use it because it means something to me. I don't, I don't necessarily care if it's actually 22 a day, if it's 1 a day, if it's 55 a day. The number doesn't really matter. 22 means something symbolically to me. And so I've included it as a web domain and a number on my, my thigh in my triathlon suit. Because when I look at that number, it reminds me of why I'm running. It reminds me that I'm moving my body for those who can't. You know, and that brings something spiritual to me. 
to remember that this is bigger than just me winning a race or competing, uh, completing a race or doing yoga or just walking down the street getting physical. It's because I want the healing and it's necessary to move your body, to move your soul. So I'm going to do those things and I'm reminded that it's, that's the case when I look at that number 22. I see it. Come on up, Ava. Oh, big girl. Good job. <laughs> have you ever tried to do like a super serious video and have a one-year-old like all up in your business? <laughs> the number 22 is important to me because it means something. <laughs> it means that I'm fighting for something that's going to keep people like me around for people like her. For people like my almost two-year-old daughter. For my wife. For you. <laughs> that's worth it. We, we, we can't get so bent out of shape about a number and think that people are just parasitically lurching off of a number saying, Oh, they're abusing veterans by using this number. <laughs> people, people, no matter what we do, people are going to do that. People are going to take advantage. People are not really going to care about veterans. There's plenty of celebrities that will, will talk about how much they love veterans, and they're doing it for their own brand. You know, they're doing it for their own benefit. That's going to happen. Does that mean we should stifle everything that we feel just because some people are going to abuse the system and abuse the beauty of what meaning, the deep meaning that things have to us? We have to do what moves us. And we can't be so judgmental. I... We can't be so judgmental to those who are trying to make a positive difference just because there's going to be people that are going to come up and take advantage of that system. So I'll continue to use the number 22 in our website and in our, our, in our branding. Uh, not overtly, but it's going to be there, and if it shows up, that's why. And that's why I'm not, a, not embarrassed by it. You want to say something? <laughs> so that's why. Um, and, I, and I hope that when you hear people speaking negatively against the number 22, you'll maybe have an understanding of why they're saying it um, and to formulate your own opinion, uh, how you feel about it. It's important that we critically think and we don't just um, hear from me or hear from somebody else and just believe what they have to say about it. I'm only authentic to what I believe and I might be right and I might be wrong, but I promise you this, that everything I do and everything I stand for is, is out of love. It's not out of fear. It's not out of um, gain. It's because I love and I'm just trying to be honest with who I am and what I believe. And if that resonates with you, it doesn't have to mean that you believe what I believe. But I hope that you can start to understand that get inside yourself and figure out what you believe and share it with love. Don't try to change everybody. Just try to explain why, one, why, your, why your opinion isn't a bad opinion. It's just an opinion. And why you do the things that you do. So we will continue to use R22, and it will continue to mean something to me, and I hope it means something to you, because that's what we're doing. Was we're, we're just trying to eradicate a statistic, whether it's 20, 22, 1, 55. Until it's zero, that number will still hold something to me, and even if it is zero, it's still going to matter to me. Not because I'm trying to make money off of it or become famous because I'm doing a hashtag 22. It's because of her. Because daddies need to be around for their daughters. Mamas need to be around for their kids. Ending a life is the only way to stop that. As long as we're breathing, we have a chance. And as long as I'm breathing, I'm going to try to make that difference for her, for my other daughter, for my wife, for my family. Because they matter as much as I matter. And I want to be around for them. So 22 means that, that there's going to be two people in this picture frame and not just one. Not just her. It's me and her. We're in this together. We're all in it together. And that's what 22 means to me. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs>